Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the very important topic of group theory that is equivalence relation. This topic is not just restricted to group theory. In fact, this topic is useful if you are doing any kind of topic in mathematics like abstract algebra, linear algebra, boolean algebra, real analysis topics along with that if you are doing any kind of aptitude problems then also this topic is really really very important along with that scientists used to use this relation in order to prove and to observe so many scientific things along with that its applications are there in economics also so before giving a formal definition of this topic i'll explain you what is the meaning of this relation. Suppose you have S is any non-empty set. We are going to define a relation on this set. We are going to define a relation, not a function, from S cross S to S. This is a relation, not a function that I am going to clarify. A relation from S cross S to S defined as, this is called an equivalence relation if this relation satisfies first property that every element of S should be related to itself. Means for each and every element of S should be related to itself. That is A should be related to itself. This property is called reflexive. Second thing is called symmetric property. This relation should be symmetric. Means if A is related to B, which means B should be related to A. Symmetric property should also holds. This also for all A, B belongs to S. Third property is, if A is related to B under this relation and B is related to C, which implies A must relate to C. And this relation is called transitive. If a relation defined on any non-empty set which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, all the three conditions if holds, then such kind of relation is called an equivalence relation on a set S. And suppose we are getting such kind of equivalence relation, then Suppose we are getting this relation on a set S. Then we will divide this set into different different subsets. Like we will consider this subset as all those elements which are related to A. Then we will call under this relation. Then we will say this is an equivalence class of A. And this subset, all those elements of S which are related to B. This will be called equivalence class of B. Likewise, we will divide this S into different different subsets and clubbing it into different different subsets in such a way that each subset is related to, uh, each subset is, con is containing all those elements which are related to some fixed element like A, Equivalence class of A contains all those elements of S which are related to A. Equivalence class of B contains all those elements of S which are related to B likewise. So that was the basic idea and definition of equivalence relation. Now I am going to define a formal definition of equivalence relation as follows. Let S be a non-empty set a relation this symbol is called tilga this is a Greek letter this is called as tilga defined on a set S is called an equivalence relation if 
if and only if first one is it is reflexive that is a should be related to a for all a belongs to s here conditions will be applicable for b for all the elements of a set s if for a single element any of these conditions is not satisfies means that can, that relation is not an equivalent relation second one is symmetric that means if a is related to b which implies b should also related to a and this is also for all a b belongs to s third condition is transitive if a is related to b and b is related to c which implies a should be related to c and this is also for all a b c belongs to s then if all these conditions are getting satisfied that is a relation is reflexive symmetric transitive for all the elements of s then such kind of relation is called an equivalence relation so that is the complete definition of equivalence relation and after the defining this equivalence relation we are going to define equivalence classes let's see how it follows let this tilde b and equivalence relation on a set s for each a belongs to s sorry for a belongs to s define this set a which contains x belongs to s such that x is related to a this set contains all those elements of s which are related to a a is this square bracket a is called the equivalence class of a the equivalence class of a thus for x belongs to s such that x belongs to equivalence class of a if and only if x is related to a means if x belongs to equivalence class of a implies x is related to a and if x is related to a implies x belongs to equivalence class of a this set a contains those elements of s which are related to a under this relation tilde now that was the basic definition of equivalence relation as well as equivalence class in the next video we will define some of the properties of equivalence relation as well as equivalence classes the same video is available in complete hindi language also and that i'm writing in normal english but explaining each and everything in hindi now its application is there in scientific terms also like we all know that in our solar system we have sun and earth is the third nearest habitable planet in our solar system and its natural satellite is moon we know that earth is earth revolves around sun means if we take sun as a earth as b and relation is rotation then a is related to p and moon revolves around earth so if we are taking b as earth c as moon then b is related to c then 
A is related to B and B is related to C implies moon revolves around sun. Therefore, A is related to C. So, here we are using transitive relation. And all these applications, all these relations like reflexive, symmetric, transitive, along with that, the entire equivalence relation in, is very useful in economics, science, business studies in so many commerce as well as scientific branches if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and in future if you want to see such kind of higher mathematics videos then don't forget to subscribe for my channel thank you so much for watching this